Hello, lovely Aquarius, and welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be a collective weekly reading from the 18th of February going through the 24th. Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Signs. Welcome in, Aquarius, and happy birthday to all of you. Aquarius, as we move into Pisces season on the 19th, of February, okay? We're moving into also the full moon happening in Virgo on the 24th of this reading at 22 degrees. This is going to be a great week to get ready to tackle those projects, okay? So it's also a feeling here of spring is in the air. So spring cleaning, okay? It's about definitely getting ready here. With the elements that are coming in this week, the moon will be in Cancer, Leo, and transiting into Virgo. Let's see what your energy is for Aquarius for the week of the 18th through the 24th for Aquarius. We have Libra energy. So a fellow air sign, you could have Libra in your chart or be dealing with a Libra. It's bringing in a win-win outcome in the forecast here, Aquarius. So this week, definitely a lot of balancing. It feels like this is a lot of righting the wrongs this week. If you were dealing with any illegal situations, it feels like you're winning this week. If there was definitely someone here that got away with something, something that was unfair, you're winning that case, okay? With Libra. Libra is ruled by Venus here. It feels like the wins are happening. This is going to bring a win-win outcome the week for you. Let's see one more. One more for Aquarius here with Libra. Libra rules partnerships, fun, creativity. And look at that. Show the world the real you, Aquarius energy. You have a lot of Aquarius and a lot, I mean, a lot of Libra. I'm sorry. New romantic cycle begins Libra. So we're definitely seeing this electrical energy here coming from you. Showing the world the real you. This is a week of popularity here, okay? This is a week where I feel you'll be shining like a star here. This is a week where a wish is coming true, okay? This could be bringing in wish fulfillment. This is a feeling for a lot of you that could bring in a feeling of a renewal, okay? This is also a feeling here now of aiming for a higher version of you. Showing the world what you got, Aquarius, here, okay? It feels like you're winning in a situation by solving a problem, okay? This could be definitely taking a new approach by showing the world your talents, your skills, okay? You rule the energy that has to do with inventions, okay? Problem solving, technology, okay? Aquarius energy is very electrical here, all right? It's about the waves, right? The waves that, that definitely come in, it's about using that wave of energy now that you're supported this week and definitely acting on it. So it could be for a lot of you, you're going to be in center stage. This could be fame. This could be fortune here. All right. It also feels like there's a new romantic cycle that begins for you. So romance here, a new beginning. Let's see what we got for Aquarius from the angels here. Okay. For Aquarius. Yeah. It's time for you to put yourself out there. This could have to do with social media. This could have to do with a platform. This could also be something here that you're doing now that brings a major win. Whatever approach you're taking at this time, okay, it feels like you are definitely free, okay, a feeling of freedom. We have Opal here. The angel saying, your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. For some of you, like I feel, my heart goes out to you. For some of you, trust that your children are definitely safe. What I'm feeling is for some of you, you could have lost a child, okay? There could be a loss of a child that was experienced here. Okay, Aquarius, let's see. No romance is imminent. Who had this card? I believe it was Libra and I just did Libra's reading. Chantel and Opal is here, okay? You could be dealing with a Chantel. It says new romance is imminent, and it says either with a newcomer or through reignited passion, 
in your existing relationships. Be open to giving and receiving love. There's going to be a compromise in an existing relationship here, okay? It feels like you're definitely reigniting this relationship. There'll be more passion, ignited in disconnection. It's about the both of you compromising. For those of you, I feel that you are definitely have no romances imminent. If you are single, it feels like romance is on its way. It feels like it's in the forecast here. A new romantic cycle begins. For some of you, you're working on a partnership here. And for some of you, mystique here, okay? You're found to be very mysterious here, okay? It feels like you're mysterious. You're very attractive. Whatever you have, you're shining like a star, Aquarius. It says keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect what? miraculous solutions to appear. I'm telling you, Aquarius, this week is your week here to bring in a lot of wins, a lot of success and victory here, okay? Very much victory is happening this week for you. Let's see, Aquarius, what is coming in for Aquarius from the 18th through the 24th of February. The moon will be transiting Cancer, Leo, and Virgo this week. This is for Aquarius for the week of the 18th through the 24th. Show me Aquarius. Show me Aquarius. General messages for the lovely sign of Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node. This is for Aquarius. This is definitely your timeline. A new beginning, a new start. It's like you're getting ready to seize an opportunity, taking action, and expecting miraculous energy to show up. So whatever it is, you're building a very strong foundation here, okay? It could surprise a lot of people around you what you're about to do, okay? It feels like, surprise, here's Aquarius. You're finding a new way, okay, by solving a, a problem or a situation here. Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Judgment is here. And there's Libra. You have a lot of Libra. And like I feel for a lot of you, you have strong Libra placement. This could be Libra is in your ascendance. Libra could be in your rising or your moon. Yeah, and the fool is here. Get ready for a breakthrough. This is the week here. With Uranus as your ruler, there's a big breakthrough that's coming in for you. It feels like nothing is holding you back. I was feeling the freedom, you know. It feels like you are free as a bird to fly now. You're getting ready to take a leap of faith here. A sudden change that's coming in for you. That's going to change everything. It feels Aquarius, you definitely have a higher calling here, and it's going to change everything. The judgment tells me definitely there is a feeling here of answering the call, right? This is a higher calling. This is definitely you have family that crossed over in the spiritual realms that are helping you. The horns are blowing here, okay, with judgment here. We have Libra energy right after that. Venus rules Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. This is about karma moving into a, a situation now where I feel that you're moving into your dharma, okay? Justice tells me whatever this is, Aquarius, for a lot of you, for some of you, I am seeing that you are charging ahead. Now, it feels like in a relationship here, you're bringing balance or compromise. Someone here is definitely returning from your past. This could be a connection here where somebody here was holding on or trying to hold you back here, okay? But it feels like there's no holding you back. The Nine of Pentacles is my young empress. This is Venus and Taurus. This tells me you're very invested in yourself. You're single, you're independent, you're confident in yourself here. And it feels like the universe here is favoring you this week, Aquarius. 
whatever it is now, like I feel you're walking away from a situation, eight of cups, where it left you on empty, okay? It feels like for some of you, you could have invested eight years in this situation. For some of you, Aquarius, the eight of cups tells me that you were in a situation where you're getting ready to walk away from a situation and you're getting ready to stand on your own here, okay? It feels like for those of you who are single here, Four of Pentacles also is a feeling here of is definitely leaving your comfort zone, okay? Because Four of Pentacles can be resistance, okay? Somebody here could have been trying to resist you. It feels like for some of you, there's definitely an unexpected uh, energy. This could be unexpectedly someone from your past is showing up here, okay? And it feels like somebody's coming in to right the wrongs. At the bottom of this, three of wands, your ships are coming in. Like I felt, it could be too late for the person that's coming back around because it feels like you are definitely taking a stand. You're in your power now, okay? It feels like you're very confident. Let's shuffle the cards and let's see. Let's clarify what the Eight of Cups is. So Aquarius, it feels like you're walking away from a situation here, okay? Or you've already walked away from a situation here. There was deep-rooted emotional issues of rejection with the Eight of Cups. There is even a feeling here of disappointments with the Eight of Cups. But it feels like you are definitely recovering, okay? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Please clarify. Yeah, recovery, the Ace of Pentacles. This is a gift from on high, a gift from God. And the sun is shining on it, Leo, a golden opportunity. So Aquarius, this is the week to make long-standing new moves. This is a solid gain after going through a painful situation with the Eight of Cups. It feels like there is an offer that's being offered to you, an opportunity, and it's definitely something positive. With Leo, the Sun card here, this rules the heart. The Sun card tells me definitely this is the time of energy now for you to thrive, okay? This is a feeling of illumination, success, positivity. And with the Ace of Pentacles here, it could be your career, your focus. It could be definitely for some of you a new home or definitely opening up the doors to a new opportunity that brings a solid gain in your physical life. Show me what the Nine of Pentacles is for Aquarius. Six of Cups, somebody definitely returning from your past. Six of Cups, there's a, a feeling of reconciling. Uh, there's Aquarius, a feeling here of returning to your past here. Six of Cups, there's a feeling here of definitely somebody here wanting to rekindle this connection here with you. Ace of Cups, a new beginning that's here, yeah? You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. This is someone from your past that definitely, Aquarius, I feel there's going to be an offer of love. This is definitely being guided. I feel this is a week of offering somebody here a compassionate offer of Ace of Cups. This could even be the feeling here of self-love, self-worth, self-respect here. You have someone from your past that's returning to you, Six of Cups with the Ace of Cups. So let's see, definitely one more for that Four of Pentacles. Someone's definitely thinking about you here, Aquarius. From your past, let's see what the Four of Pentacles is. And the Sun. So it could feel like you've been holding back for a while or you've been be resisting this opportunity, Aquarius. But the sun card tells me that whatever this is, it's a very powerful energy coming through that brings in this feeling of fun. It brings in being in the sun, telling me the sun is shining on you in this area. This is definitely a powerful, it's a feeling here of letting go of the reins, following your soul, following your what your intuition and your gut is telling you to do here, okay? The sun tells me it brings in a lot of success. It also brings in longevity. You definitely have the sunflowers that symbolize long life, longevity. And with five of wands, 
you have competition in this area, okay, Aquarius. It feels like these are people disagreeing with you, conflict or arguments that could be taking place here. Conflict about this struggle or some feeling here of winning some kind of a, a battle. Somebody here that could have been holding back something. It feels like if there was any lies or anything held back from you, the sun's going to shine the light on that area here, right? Because the five of wands can be jealousy, envy, people here that are envious of you, okay? Competition. And it feels like you've been holding back. You haven't been dealing with these people. Let's see what the judgment is. Eight of Swords. So the judgment tells me you're hearing the horns blow here, but you're not seeing something here. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius like yourself. The Eight of Swords with the judgment is a feeling here of getting ready to open up to a new perspective. If you are feeling stuck, there's a shift and it's going to shift everything here. There's the lovers. You definitely have a choice here to be made. It feels like for some of you, it could be a choice here between someone from your past returning. And definitely we see somebody here. It could be a connection where the both of you have been separated, lovers, right? We see the feeling here of coming into alignment. It feels like you have Aquarius, somebody here who is stuck on you, okay? Somebody here that could have been feeling tied down in the situation. It also feels like this is the kind of feeling where you're going through a major awakening. This person could have definitely be a person that you triggered their awakening, okay? Lovers, you have a very strong connection here. And the Eight of Swords, you have a choice to make here when it comes to this person. Let's see what justice is. Nine of Cups. Oh, this will definitely make you happy. So Aquarius, it feels like Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. There is something here that you've been waiting on. It took a very long time. This is about stability. The Knight of Pentacles is very loyal, very relaxed, very slow, very family oriented, but very stable. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles is a feeling of this is the slowest horse in the deck here because like I feel it takes, this comes with age, with time. It's about the quality, not the quantity. Nine of Cups and Justice tells me this is going to put you on cloud nine, Aquarius. It feels like you will be definitely for a wish that you've been wishing for. Yes, Justice. When it comes to your overall energy, Nine of Cups and Justice tells me this is about righting the wrongs. This is about accountability. Somebody here that definitely wants to make things right, Aquarius. Okay, and it feels like definitely a feeling here of the truth coming in, okay? This is about outweighing the truth in this situation, balancing the scales, bringing something here to balance this week. And it could be balancing out also your work, your career, your finances. If you were experiencing a situation around your work, okay, something that you were invested in, it feels like. This is about keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miracles with the Nine of Cups and Libra to appear here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Sun and the Judgment and Libra. So we do have the energy here of the favoring of the universe. Let's see what the Sun is. The Page of Cups. Here comes this message. Here comes a new beginning. For some of you, this Page of Cups is definitely a message. This is a messenger. This is a feeling of Page of Cups, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or Leo, okay? This is somebody here that's definitely reaching out with a message that's very positive here. You could have been feeling on guard about this, okay? Or somebody... Like a feeling here of holding back. You don't trust this person. You don't trust this situation. There's some kind of feeling here of the truth coming out. Yeah, nine of pen, ten of pentacles, okay? This could be a family member, okay? This could be a, a feeling here, Aquarius, of a family member, a sibling, or it could be a child, okay? It feels like somebody here that's reaching out to you, somebody here that you built a wall around, okay? There's some resilience here. There's some test of faith here when it comes to a family dynamic here. But it feels like this person's definitely coming in here 
with something positive. It's like they're shedding the light on a situation. There's truth being shed here is what I feel. Yeah, higher fit. This involves for some of you, there could have been this feeling where somebody here definitely was a scapegoat, okay? There was a family dynamic for some of you, Aquarius, a marriage, Ten of Pentacles, Venus and Taurus, and Seven of Swords. Somebody here got away with something, okay? The Seven of Swords for me is the card of a liar, a stiller, a thief. There's some kind of, of energy of somebody here taking advantage of a family situation or feeling like you were taking advantage in a situation, okay? In a dynamic here. Or somebody here was very wealthy, a family that was very wealthy, okay? So let's see what judgment is. Four of Cups. Yeah, you don't see this coming back around. Four of Cups is a feeling with judgment here. The ball is in your court. The Four of Cups tells me that you are no longer going to be in a situation that kept you stuck here. It feels like you are charging ahead. It feels like with the judgment in the Four of Cups here, it's a feeling here of you are not interested in any casual flings, okay? You're not accepting any offers. This is a feeling of rejection, rejecting an offer here, okay? And the temperance is at the bottom of the deck. It's saying patience, right? So you have two angels coming through here. The temperance is Sagittarius energy here. There is definitely a feeling of not going to extremes, in this situation here. It's about testing the waters first here. I feel that you've been patiently waiting, okay? It feels like this is somebody at a distance from you here that's coming back around here, okay? There is a purpose, okay, for this situation that has occurred here, all right? But it feels like this is gonna change everything, okay? What's, let's see, the Libra energy. For some of you, you're going through a divorce or a separation. And it feels like you're walking right into a new opportunity here. Show me justice. Let's clarify justice. Eight of wands. Eight of wands over justice tells me you're ready to go the distance with this. This is going to be you taking action right now. You're making some swift change. There could even be travel that's here. Justice and Eight of Wands tells me this is going to happen with speed here, okay? This is about getting upgrades and taking action now with the Eight of Wands. This could be sudden travel, sudden communication coming in. This is about hearing the communication that everything is going in your favor now, okay? This is about uh, the Eight of Wands is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is definitely unexpectedly getting ready to take action and keep charging ahead now. Like I feel the universe is favoring you this week, Aquarius. Definitely put your feet up, your head back. You can rest this week. You can recharge your batteries. It's time, like I feel, to gain your inner peace back now. Okay, Aquarius is what I feel. I'm going to leave the reading there. Thank you, Aquarius. I will see you in the next reading.